Welcome to our Unified Namespace Essentials series. This three-part video guide will help IIoT solution architects and digital transformation specialists in manufacturing to understand the Unified Namespace and utilize this highly effective architectural approach in your digital transformation strategies. In this series, we will cover the following. In part one, we will explore what is the Unified Namespace and why does it matter. Part 2 will be all about how does a unified namespace work. Part 3 will answer how to implement UNS using MQTT and Spark Plug. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch the whole series. Ok, let us get started. Part 1. Defining the UNS The unified namespace is a central hub that holds the structure, the events and current state of your business. It is an architectural approach that provides an optimal path to achieving digital transformation in manufacturing. To truly appreciate the significance of UNS, we must begin by highlighting why a traditional industrial architecture falls short. Traditional industrial systems use a pyramid-like network and system architecture, the ISA95 functional model, with factory components at the bottom and enterprise or cloud components at the top. Each layer communicates only to the directly adjacent layer through point-to-point -point connections. While this data architecture served its purpose in the mid to late 1990s with the introduction of PC-based control and enterprise integration, companies are taking big risks by blindly adopting this antiquated system as the foundation of their digital transformation strategy which often leads to unfulfilled promises and many failed digital transformation efforts. You might ask, why is that the case? Let's explore an example. Let's say you intend to make data from a programmable logic controller available to an intelligence platform in the cloud. Using the ISA95 functional model, you would require specialized engineering to get the data into your SCADA system and additional engineering resources to get it from SCADA into MES and so on until it lands in the cloud. What's worse is that industrial systems use incompatible data formats, meaning each type of equipment or software whose data needs to be integrated requires dedicated engineering efforts by different specialists. Now, besides the apparent astronomical costs and greediness associated with this kind of data integration, here are a few more reasons why a traditional industrial data architecture will lead to a failure or non-effective digital transformation effort. For starters, embarking on a digital transformation strategy based on a traditional industrial architecture involves many specialized stakeholders and a lot of manual point-to-point -point data integration reconciliation. Therefore, it is difficult to scale or meet the demands of modern data-driven manufacturing organizations. Also, innovation requires all enterprise network participants, human or otherwise, to have instant data accessibility. However, traditional architectures store data in a centralized data lake where access is limited and therefore the number of problems that can be solved are minimized. Also, this constrains an organization's ability to respond to the proliferation of data sources. In addition, Traditional data integration uses proprietary application interfaces only accessible by specific technology vendors. This leaves companies with hundreds, if not thousands, of point-to-point -point connections that only a specialized group of people understand. Lastly, this layered architecture limits the scope of data you can collect as a manufacturer. This means you cannot feed intelligence platforms with meaningful data because request-response models of communication consume a lot of bandwidth, are laborious to set up, and they are also prone to human error during setup. These drawbacks collectively make the case that manufacturing businesses should move away from traditional architectures and toward more progressive architectures like the unified namespace. To address the failures of traditional industrial data architecture, you need to shift to a paradigm that draws from a modern distributed architecture. Instead of having data exist in silos within and across layers of a technology stack, you make it accessible in a unified way, 
so that it appears as if it's all in one place. This enables all your enterprise systems to have one centralized location to get the data they need for what they want to accomplish. However, to make the data meaningful to all components in your enterprise, you want to create a standard way of organizing and naming the data. The naming convention should reflect the actual structure of your business from top level business units down to a control device on the shop floor. Secondly, the name contains all the events of your business as they happen. The structure is the hierarchy and the events may, for example, represent a change in temperature, a completed batch, a drop in production line efficiency, or a customer request under a specific level of your hierarchy. This naming arrangement provides a single source of truth containing all the data about the structure and current state of your entire enterprise. In a nutshell, this is what the unified namespace is all about. The idea is that all components that can communicate using IIoT protocols such as MQTT point to a central repository of information that holds your hierarchical enterprise structure and publish their events under a category in which it makes sense for that data to live. Components that are not IIoT ready are placed behind an IIoT gateway that publishes information to the relevant categories on their behalf. This allows you to build only one communication interface for your digital infrastructure. Even though point-to-point -point communication interfaces may still exist behind gateways for collecting data from legacy equipment, as your organization deploys smart assets, you will systematically eliminate them enabling your organization to non-disruptively undergo digital transformation while laying the foundation of your digital future. You are creating a data ecosystem into which all smart entities of your enterprise publish and consume information. Think about it. By simply plugging into a common network infrastructure, every person working on the plant floor, every piece of hardware and software, including machine learning models, and every high-level decision maker gets instant access to contextualized and most recent enterprise-wide information about the operation of the business. It makes it easy to use your digital infrastructure to solve problems as they arise and predict the future state of your enterprise as your business functions integrate and operate based on information from all other functions in real time. And now, let us have a look at the benefits of unified namespace. Data producers and consumers are integrated into your data ecosystem by simply plugging them into your network infrastructure. No specialized engineering services are required to integrate data at each layer of your business. Real-time access to the current state of your entire enterprise at any given time improves your capability to test, quickly respond, plan, and predictably deliver. Data producers and consumers are not directly connected. They communicate through a central hub, which enables you to connect up to millions of nodes seamlessly. Now, while we may have established a foundation for understanding the unified namespace in this video, it may prove difficult to grasp due to its somewhat abstract nature. In part two of this video series, we go into details of how the unified namespace works to solidify your understanding of the concept. Stay tuned and see you in the next part.